well, when I was 14 and a half, I got put in there because I didn't go to school. I spent nearly all my life in that place. But the bad times were the beginning. Only a wee boy and I went there, night after the Queen's coronation. And I went through hell. And I, as years went on, it became a hospital. But the beginning, it was not, it was a right camp. Sergeant Major was never in it. Yes sir, no sir, three bags full. You had to answer yes, no. Even it was hard for the staff, I know. They were not allowed to talk to their wives or their husbands. You'd be on one side and they'd be on the other. I came into Linda Scarf yeah. when I was last week, 15, mm -hmm. right up to I was about 49. Yes. And then I came out of Linda Scarf when I was 49. Mm -hmm. that was and then I got my party in the Gobardus. My party in the Gobardus when I was 50. So John was in Lennox Castle. Where were you, John? In the 1960s onwards. And what I found at that time is, looking back, my, my mother, we had great difficulty with John because John had to be, he still has to be watched 24 7. So what we had to do, my mother, I remember her crying the day she put him in there. Um, I think it was just some place they put people. There was nowhere else to put any money. So all of a sudden, my brother disappeared. Where's Johnny? My mother had to tell us that he was in Lennox Castle. And the other day we were there, we were looking at Lennox Castle where John was there and the, the crowd of staff. It was very good that day because you, you could look back and, and John, although John's in a condition, he knew where he was. I said, Lennox Castle, didn't you, John? Right away, he's pointing, he's pointing to the hills. That's the thing about Lennox Castle. To me as a man, and I, I like looking at beautiful things and scenery. It's the most, one of the most beautiful places in the world for scenery and a beautiful day. You couldn't get anything beautiful. And this place was right in the heart of it. Tea and baked biscuits on a Sunday, cakes on a Monday Tuesday, cream Wednesday donuts, Crumpet, Thursday hop across buns for a snowball, a Saturday with stew, mince, cakes, bread, tea, coffee and potatoes, custard, Christmas cake and ice cream. And then we took dinners, we had top pot, a Monday with macaroni, with steak pie, stew, mince on a Friday, roast a Saturday, stew on a Sunday with one slice of bread, sometimes sugar and milk, and breakfast with sausage egg. And we had a cup of tea sometimes with a sugar. Was that sugar or milk, Sadie? And that there was oat milk. Aye. Mm -hmm. The tea yeah. was oat milk. Aye, you could get it with oat milk. To lose weight. To lose weight, aye. And then we used to bring it up in a big tea pan. That's right, up in the they, top. That's right, till they died. Aye. There were two punish there were three punishment wards. Two for the boys, no, two for the lasses. They were hot one and hot two. It was locked. Mm -hmm. Was it hot G for the boys? H mm -hmm. was a punishment boy for the words. See if a boy was really, really bad, that's where he'd get put. And he still used, I don't know if you heard of, I heard of the injection powder eye. You ever heard of that injection? You've got to use a glass rinse for it. You can't use a plastic rinse because it melts it. Why? It melts a plastic syringe. It's a powerful drug. And if you're really bad, you would get it in a castle and it would knock you out for weeks and you would smell it for days. Oh, I never, but I was put on meds and I shouldn't have been on. You know what I mean? But I've seen people getting it, basically. And it is a cigar syringe, it is. Because it would melt a plastic cup and it melt us a plastic syringe. That's mm. how powerful it is. I was a teenager out of control. Like any other <laughs> Like any other teenager these days, it's out of control. And I was like, put away for no reason. <sighs> It's shocking to me because I've been at it 20 years and been at it and it sounds like a long time. It's when my carer says, Pauline, by God, what you say that? You're like, you'll be shocked because you've not been up here for 20 years. Mm. And to me, it is shocking. Mm. All the houses down there as you come in that gate and up here when you get the field and all that. How do I feel about coming back to the grounds? Uh, it's a change. For, for me, so it is coming back because I've never uh, 
been back here since they redone it all, since they done the houses and all that, took the wards away. You went, you know, the way, the place where you can walk to the castle, up that way. So it's good. There used to be a road there with that token. See that there? There was a road right down there. Go on. Yeah. And you could walk up there? Yeah. No, you could, that's what made one of the roads, the traffic was on. Fair enough. Yeah. It's all gone.